Mary, Marcy, Marilyn. This is ridiculous. All these names are starting to sound alike to me. I'm just going to put this out of my head uh, and make lunch. Rosemary. <laughs> Ginger. <laughs> Basil. <laughs> Tarragon. <laughs> Tarragon Weston. <laughs> Hi, honey. Honey. Yeah, what a beautiful day. The sailors have returned from the sea. Bring on the working girls. I believe the expression is dancing girls. You relax your way, I relax mine. Oh, Carol, you cannot believe it. The sun, the sea, the salt air, the power of the throttle. The thrusting of the hips, the heaving of the breasts. I'm talking about the boat. Oh, that. Yeah. Oh, Johnny, I cannot thank you enough for getting me into that boating class. So I take it you passed the test, huh? Yeah. In 82. Daddy! I got a uh, 97. You beat Daddy? 82, 97. What's the difference? 15 points. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. What matters is I won our bet. What bet? Well, whoever scored the highest gets to be captain this weekend on our maiden voyage. You're kidding. No, no, come on. I mean, the signal is largely ceremonial. Not completely. I get to wear the hat. <laughs> okay, Harry. See you Saturday, six balls. <laughs> Charlie. That is six bells. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing that wasn't on the test. <laughs> Otherwise, I might not have scored 97. <laughs> Doctors will be right with you and Arthur. Remember, no blowing your nose, trucker style. <laughs> Showtime! Laverne, I, I can't find any tongue depressants. They are in the order with all our other medical supplies. So when are we getting our order? Funny thing about CODs, they don't take IOUs. <laughs> I thought we raised money with those donation letters. We did. What did we spend it on? A box of paper clips and a sponge. <laughs> Here, Harry. What is this? Your fundraising speech to the city council. You're giving this speech? Yes. I'm giving it to you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Maxine. Come on. You promised to do this. Oh, Harry, I thought I could, but I can't. I mean, I'm great one-on-one, -on -one, but get me in front of a group of people and I freeze. Come on, sweetheart. We all get a little nervous. A little? First, my mouth dries up, then my neck starts to sweat, and it runs down between my shoulder blades, and I end up with a rusty bra hook. I used to go out with a boy named Rusty Bra Hook. Oh, come on, Harry, please. I'll be your best friend. Okay, if it's that bad, I'll do the speech for you. 
you won't, Doctor. You've got to let her do it herself. That's the only way she... Shut out, Laverne. That is the only way she will overcome this problem. I'm doing this because I care about you, Doctor. This is what you call tough love. And this is what you call a knuckle sandwich. Uh, now, wait, now, wait, 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 now. Wait, wait a minute, Maxie. Now, Laverne could be right. Laverne is always right. <laughs> Now, I'm going to help you through this, Doctor. I had stage fright once, couldn't get a word out. Remember that, Doctor? March 4th, 1991. It was the happiest day of my life. <laughs> Water temperature 62, wind from the southwest at 3 to 5 knots. Ow, oh, Charlie! We have perfect weather! <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> like the tidy bowl man. Don't be ridiculous. He's that big. <laughs> My telescope, please. The real one or the one with the girly inside? <laughs> Sense of humor, I like that in a deckhand. <laughs> By the way, I've inspected the ship, and you may want to apply a little more elbow grease to the latrine. You mean head. Elbow grease, head grease. <laughs> Look, Charlie, come on. This is getting ridiculous with all this. Come, come on. on. It's going to kill you. Let me be in charge one weekend. All right, all right, all right, fine. Good. Now, look sharp, Swabby. The captain is now going to confirm our location and course. Okay. West, southwest. 17 knots. Northerly swell. I make our location uh, 10 degrees north latitude, 67 degrees west longitude. Are you sure? Absolutely. That puts us in downtown Caracas. <laughs> okay, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Ahoy! Man on jet ski! Where the hell are here you go, Dreyfus. Oh. Gee, it's been a long time since I had a guy eating out of my hand. <laughs> Although I have dated a few who drank out of the toilet. the perfect name for your baby. What? Mr. Bandalucci. <laughs> Mr. Bandalucci? He lives across the hall from me. I, I promised you'd name your baby after him. <laughs> Sophia, how could you make such a promise? It's a moment of passion. <laughs> Between the oxygen and the Ben Gay, I, I, I couldn't think straight. <laughs> Sophia... I'm sorry, but there is no way I can name my baby Mr. Bandalucci. Well, how about just his first name, Silvano? <laughs> Silvano Weston? Think about it. He'll have the same initials as Slappy White. <laughs> what an odd little woman. As you were. I am as I was. You resent taking orders from me, don't you? <laughs> I hate it. And you think I'm making too big of a deal out of this? Frankly, yes. I thought so. That goes right into the report, mister. All right, prepare the vessel for landing. We should be arriving at our overnight port in approximately 30 minutes. Well, good thing, because we have some weather sneaking up on us. Nothing sneaks up on me. I got eyes in the back of my head. Well, you'll need them to read all those nudie magazines you brought aboard. I 
I don't believe it. We're out of gas. I told you, said you filled up the tank. I did. How do you think we drove down to the dock? <laughs> I'm talking about the boat. You didn't fill the backup tank? Backup tank? Charlie, this is the stupidest thing you have ever done. Oh, yeah? What about the time I filled my waterbed with helium and I broke my nose on a ceiling? This is a small craft warning. Gale force winds are expected in the vicinity of 25 degrees north latitude, 82 degrees west longitude. Seek shelter immediately. <gasps> Those poor bastards in Caracas. <laughs> And in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen of the council, your financial help would be a big help to us in serving the community. You used help twice in the same sentence. Does that bother you? No. And why'd you bring it up? It's just the way my mind works. Like the way I label ace bandages. I don't write ace bandages, I just write ace because I know they's bandages. <laughs> and in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, your financial help will aid us in serving the community. Woo! Yes! I'll get you a big old heap of the Arkansas Atta Girl. I don't care where the Atta Girls come from. I can't do this. I know the clinic needs the money, but I just can't do it. Dr. Douglas, you have to do it. You'd never be able to look yourself in the eye. Oh, how often do you really have to look yourself in the eye? <laughs> Think of your patients. Where would they go if this clinic shut down? I know. Picture poor Mr. Hernandez a wandering the streets looking for someone to treat his goiter. <laughs> Sorry, Laverne. It's no use. We have a saying back in Hickory. Any doctor who won't give a speech to raise money for the Canal Street Clinic is a scaredy cat. <laughs> That's a saying in Hickory? Well, it don't come up that often. <laughs> Canal Street Clinic. Carol? Carol, slow down. I can't understand you. I mean, even more than usual. <laughs> what? What time was Daddy due back? No, no. Now, don't you worry. Daddy's little girl will see him again now. Bye-bye. <laughs> Daddy's not back yet. I mean... Dr. Weston is not back, and the, the, from his trip, and the Coast Guard's out looking for him. Good Lord. Yeah, and, and, well, he's certified. He took that class. That's right. Harry knows how to survive. He's intelligent, he's resourceful, he's trained in emergency procedures. And Charlie's with him. He's dead. <laughs> the build pump is kind of slow, but I finally got it to work again. A lot of men your age have that problem. <laughs> But don't worry, I'm going to get us out of this, I have a plan. What are you doing? None of your business. Yeah, give me that. Call me Charlie. <laughs> I was born of middle-class parents. They quickly rose to the rank of captain. First mate Weston proved to be a cowardly landlubber. Help, help, please rescue us. One of us is too young to die. A note in a bottle? That's your great plan, is a note in a bottle? Charlie, do you realize how serious things are? We are in the middle of the ocean with no gas and no way to contact anybody and only enough food for three days. Where's the food? Please don't talk about food. I'm stuffed. That's it. I've had it. Enough. Stand down, Mr. Weston. I'll not have any more of your insubordination. Charlie. Charlie. Listen to me. Charlie. I know you're in there somewhere. Listen to me very carefully. I think it would be best if I assume command of the ship. Mutiny. Let the log reflect that Mr. Weston illegally seized command of the ship at 16 balls. 
Charlie. Why don't you go blow to your cabin, sir, and rest? Yes. Very well. I'll, I'll go lie down for a ball and a half. Oh, Carol, are you okay, hon? I'm fine. I'm making custard. It's Daddy's favorite dessert. You heard from the Coast Guard? No, but I'm fine. I'm keeping a good thought for a good person. You know, you use good twice in the same sentence. <laughs> I hate you, Laverne. Carol, is there anything I can do for you? No, I'm fine. I've got everything under control. <laughs> Okay, I'll just, I'll uh, put this in the sink. Oh, Laverne, that's a... Sink. Sink. Oh, poor Daddy. Oh, poor Charlie. No, no, the sea shall not have them. I'm fine. I don't think she's fine. Laverne, give her a minute. Maybe we should call a therapist. Which one? You know, it's terrible to be thinking of myself at a time like this, but how can I give that speech tomorrow when all I'm thinking about is Harry lost at sea? Dr. Weston would want you to do it. Ain't you ever seen them old movies where the person's face appears in the clouds and you can kind of see through it? And, <laughs> and it tells the loved ones left behind to be strong and carry on. Yeah. Well, Dr. Weston would be doing that exact same thing, only you can't see through him and you ain't one of his loved ones, but it's close. <laughs> Dr. Douglas, I know you can do it. Yeah, well, I guess it won't be any worse than what Harry's going through. Poor man, it must be horrible. Mm -hmm. Not in front of you, no hope. <laughs> Laverne, you know who is a dog. <laughs> and a wonderful dog he is, too. Harry. What? What if the storm comes back? I don't want to die. I don't want to be one of those transparent faces in the movies who talk to their loved ones. It's not going to happen. You think we're going to be all right? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to make a movie about you. <laughs> we're going to die. We're not going to die. We're going to die, and it's all my fault. <sighs> You're half right. <laughs> Harry. I cheated on the exam. Well, I, I, I sort of gathered that when you kept calling the kitchen the gallery. But how? How, how did you do it? Well, when I turned in our papers, I switched our names. Oh. Just had to be better than you at something. Couldn't you pick something a little less dangerous? <laughs> You've got respect. You've got friends. You have a family that loves you. I've got... nudie magazines. <laughs> My life is like this boat, drifting nowhere. Harry, I'm almost 40. I thought you were 41. 41's almost 40. <laughs> Look, Charlie, we all make mistakes. Yours seem to come in clusters. But it doesn't mean you're a bad person. It just means you're a... Charlie. We're minutes from the end, and it's all my fault, and you have it within yourself to nurture? <laughs> Harry. What? Hold me.
is driving me nuts. All I get is their recording. To report a missing sailboat, press one. To report a shark attack, press two. <laughs> to order our beefcake calendar, press three. Any word? Nothing yet. Hey, how'd your speech go? Never been so embarrassed in my life. What happened? Well, I got off track thinking about Harry. I started talking about him being lost at sea, and I got all choked up. Then they started feeling sorry for me. Yeah, and? That's when I really poured it on. <laughs> I haven't blubbered that much since I heard Steven Spielberg was going to direct The Color Purple. <laughs> I think they gave me the money just to shut me up. Maxine, I'm very happy for you. I just wish Daddy were here to share it with us. Carol, there is not a person here who does not know your father is going to come home safe and sound. These are all the black dresses I could find. <laughs> Daddy! Oh, yeah. oh, you're alive. That's great. Now I don't have to get these dry clean. <laughs> Thank God you're alive. Look. How'd you get back? The Neptune Society picked us up. You got picked up by those burial at sea people? Yeah, basically it was goodbye Shirley and Fluffy, hello Harry and Charlie. Well, it's lucky they were passing by. They weren't just passing by. And how'd they find you? I'm gonna go soak in a hot tub. Harry, it's not polite to ignore our lady's question. How'd they find us? What difference does it make? They found us. Say it, Harry. How'd they find us? They found Charlie's note in a bottle. Good night. <laughs> Sophia, I finally heard from the Coast Guard. Sophia, honey, Daddy came home a week ago. Daddy, Schmally, I finally got my beefcake calendar. <laughs> Where did you get a look at Lieutenant November? Sophia, I am not... Well, ahoy there. <laughs> Mary, Marcy, Marilyn. This is ridiculous. All these names are starting to sound alike to me. I'm just going to put this out of my head uh, and make lunch. Rosemary. <laughs> Ginger. <laughs> Basil. <laughs> Tarragon. <laughs> Tarragon Weston. <laughs> Hi, honey. Honey. Wow, what a beautiful day. The sailors have returned from the sea. Bring on the working girls. I believe the expression is dancing girls. You relax your way, I relax mine. Oh, Carol, you cannot believe it. The sun, the sea, the salt air, the power of the throttle. The thrusting of the hips, the heaving of the breasts. <laughs> I'm talking about the boat. Oh, that. <laughs> oh, Charlie, I cannot thank you enough for getting me into that boating class. So I take it you passed the test, huh? Yeah, in 82. Daddy! I got a uh, 97. You beat Daddy? 82, 97. What's the difference? 15 points. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. What matters is I won our bet. What bet? Well, whoever scored the highest gets to be captain this weekend on our maiden voyage. You're kidding. No, no, come on. I mean, I mean, you know, it's largely ceremonial. Not completely. I get to wear the hat. <laughs> okay, Harry. See you Saturday, six balls. <laughs> Charlie. That is six bells. That's yeah, a good thing that wasn't on the test. Otherwise, I might not have scored 
97. <laughs> Just how we do it is no mystery. One by one, we fill the days. We find a thousand different ways. Sometimes the answer can be hard to find. That's something I will never be. I'm always here for anything you need. Rain or shine. Grease to the latrine. You mean head. Elbow grease, head grease. <laughs> Look, Charlie, come on. This is getting ridiculous with all this. Come, come on. on. It's gonna kill you. Let me be in charge one weekend. All right, all right, all right, fine. Good. Now look sharp, Swabby. The captain is now gonna confirm our location and course. Okay. West, southwest. <laughs> 17 knots. Northerly swell. I make our location uh, 10 degrees north latitude, 67 degrees west longitude. Are you sure? Absolutely. That puts us in downtown Caracas. <laughs> Go, Dreyfus. Oh. Gee, it's been a long time since I had a guy eating out of my hand. <laughs> Although I have dated a few who drank out of the toilet. <laughs> Carol, I have the perfect name for your baby. What? Mr. Bandalucci. I'm doing this because I care about you, Doctor. This is what you call tough love. And this is what you call a knuckle sandwich. Uh, uh, wait, no, wait, 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 no. wait, wait a minute, Maxie. Now, Laverne could be right. Laverne is always right. <laughs> now, I'm going to help you through this, Doctor. I had stage fright once, couldn't get a word out. Remember that, Doctor? March 4th, 1991. <laughs> It was the happiest day of my life. Air temperature is 78, water temperature is 62, wind from the southwest at 3 to 5 knots. Ow, oh, Charlie! We have perfect weather! The tidy bowl man. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. He's that big. <laughs> My telescope, please. The real one or the one with the girly inside? <laughs> Sense of humor, I like that in a deckhand. <laughs> By the way, I've inspected the ship, and you may want to apply a little more elk. And in just a few minutes, our fine and dedicated doctors will be right with you and Arthur. Remember, no blowing your nose, trucker style. <laughs> Showtime! Laverne, I, I can't find any tongue depressants. They are in the order with all our other medical supplies. So when are we getting our order? Funny thing about CODs, they don't take IOUs. <laughs> I thought we raised money with those donation letters. We did. What did we spend it on? A box of paper clips and a sponge. Here, Harry. 
What is this? Your fundraising speech to the city council. You're giving this speech? Yes, I'm giving it to you. <laughs> whoa, 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 yeah, 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 come on, Maxine, come on. You promised to do this. Oh, Harry, I thought I could, but I can't. I mean, I'm great one-on-one, -on -one, but get me in front of a group of people and I freeze. Come on, sweetheart, we all get a little nervous. A little? First my mouth dries up, then my neck starts to sweat, and it runs down between my shoulder blades, and I end up with a rusty bra hook. I used to go out with a boy named Rusty Bra Hook. Oh, come on, Harry, please. I'll be your best friend. Okay, if it's that bad, I'll do the speech for you. No, you won't, Doctor. You've got to let her do it herself. That's the only way she... Butt out, Laverne. That is the only way she will overcome this problem.